My family, greet you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love the Church with your brother Joseph. So right here we actually have something that is very interesting pertaining to the Botswana election result. But before we go any further, just listen to the results. On the line right now, I have SABC's international news editor Sophie Mukwena. And this, of course, uh, for the latest on some of those international stories. Uh, Sophie, good morning. And we start, of course, with uh, the vote counting situation in Botswana. And with Botswana having completed its election, Election. What can we expect from the forthcoming votes in the United States and Namibia as well? Well, I think let's start with Botswana. Clearly, the ruling party has lost elections. My fellow Botswana, I stand before you this morning humbled but proud. At the end of my first term as president, <clears throat> I wish to congratulate the opposition on their victory and concede the election. So on Telegram, you've actually been sending me videos of what um, prophets have been saying. You actually mainly sent me three prophecies from Prophet uh, Shepard Bushiri, Prophet Ikinla, and Prophet Sovi. So this is what they actually said. First Prophet Bushiri, then Prophet Ikinla, then Prophet Sovi. In Botswana, I saw elections taking place. And I saw that God will give the ruling party to have more advantage. But the problem is that they will have issues to do with um, electorate. They'll have even some more problems to have even the members of parliament where they really need to have to understand what I'm talking about. There will be this where they might have a problem of getting 50%. However, on the presidency, God, I saw, I saw the hand of God going into the ruling party. Now, I want us to pray for Botswana. The election of Botswana, the ruling party, the president will be there. He will win, he will come back, but he has to pray for his second coming that he should enjoy his reign on, 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 on why leading the great country of Botswana. We are praying for you, Your Excellency. The Lord will keep you, preserve you, and then we make your desire to come to pass. Umbrella. I saw an umbrella. Coming back to Africa, Botswana. I saw in Botswana, I saw an umbrella. I saw an umbrella. It's like I saw rain, very strong rain. And an umbrella appeared. This is on a political sphere. You remember, God speaks in parables. Sometimes, proverbs, symbols. I saw the symbol of an umbrella in elections. So, big developments in Botswana. because The umbrella for democratic change, this is the UDC, headed by human rights lawyer Duma Boko, leads the count... Shock election defeat in Botswana. Preliminary election results show President Mukwetsi Masisi's Botswana Democratic Party has reportedly lost its grip. On power, the umbrella for democratic change has won. Interesting, my family. So on this page, we actually keep the same energy. We tell it like it is. So from what we have actually seen, you can tell that of these three uh, prophets, what uh, one of them actually said concerning mainly the person who win the elections. That's exactly what happened. And I've seen a lot of people uh, castigating, you know, these other two prophets saying that, you know, they are fake, they are false and the like because of the outcome of the Botswana elections. Well, I believe uh, what could be a proper, a proper um, answer to all these questions as to why is it that we have three prophets, you know, but they prophesy differently in a way concerning a particular thing? Well, you can also look at it this way, according to what Prophet Makandewa said. It's not everything he prophesied that came out true. It doesn't mean he, it's a sign that he's not a true prophet. A lot of things can happen. Events can change. People can pray against what you would have said. See, that's one angle you can look at it. But, you know, you can also look at it this way, you know, it's those who are prophets who understand it better. So let's just listen to this detailed explanation from Prophet Angel as to why some prophets may seem as if they have missed it and why others seem to be getting it correct all the time. Tell me your thoughts about all this, my family, in the comments below. Like, share, comment and subscribe.
I just want to read Romans, uh, Revelation 13. Revelation 13. Verse number. Let's go, sir. One. Hear the way a vision appears. I stood up upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast. What is he seeing? A beast. A beast, a beast rise up out of the sea, mm. having seven heads and ten horns. Mm. Please stay there. And upon his horns, ten mm. crowns, and upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Do you? I said stay there. Listening is very important. What did I say? Stay there. Do you notice if this was your vision, you would tell the people a wrong vision you got from God? Mm. Oh, you're missing this. I know you're missing this. Yes. If the prophet had ended here and went home, you would have told us a lie. Mm. We would be thinking of a beast that will come in mm. with what? We turn on seven heads mm. and upon the horns, crowns. Mm. Then he says, verse number two. And the beast which I saw was like a leopard. Hey, wait a minute. A leopard with horns? <laughs> and his feet is with the feet of a bear. What, what, what kind of... Huh? And if you stop here, mm. you would have lied to us about what God showed you. Mm. And he kept on looking. Mm. And his mouth was the mouth of a lion. Ha! Yeah. Was it not a leopard? Mm. So in the prophetic, you get one vision, you wait. Wow. But when people are demanding, tell mm. us this, tell us this, mm. you show them what you've been shown and say, wait, mm. I'll come back. Mm. I look again. I look wow. again. And I come back. Mm. But the third time, I'll ask the Lord, that's it, fine now. I tell them, they keep quiet, they relax. You don't waste your time going to vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I saw one of the heads as it were wounded to death. Mm? Mm. And his deadly wound was healed, and the world wandered after the beast. Now, you see, if he had not gone to part three mm. and he had been woken up by his wife, mm. say, What I saw, my wife, ah, mm. <laughs> seven heads, ten horns with mm. crowns. Mm. <laughs> so, what, what, it, what does it mean? I don't know. Mm. When will it come? I have no idea. Why did God show you? I don't know. Oh, it looked like a leopard. Huh? With horns? Yes. And then it was killed. One of the heads. Huh? And a deadly wound. And then it came back to life. Ah, ah. Mm. What kind of thing is this? Let's go. And they worshipped the dragon which gave the power unto the beast. Uh -uh. There was another dragon which gave it power. Uh -huh. mm. And they worshipped the beast. Even the beast too. Saying, who is like unto the beast? Mm. Who is able to make war with him? Mm. And there was given unto him a mouth. Hmm? I mm. thought he did mouth when you... Mm. He said, the mouth of a lion. Of a lion. Mm. Now it's another mouth. Being given. Thus it receives. Mm. Mm. What, what kind of, how many mouths does it have? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, do you see what is wrong with the people today? Mm. We look into someone's life and... Before God finishes whatever is impressing upon our hearts, these mm. young prophets, they've already given you a plane, a jet. Mm. Yeah, the Bible says, be it prophets, let it be done according to the measure of faith. Mm. If you have never had a jet mm. or never had enough money to buy a jet, mm. you can't give anyone a jet in prophecy. Mm. Be it prophecy, let it be wow. done according to the measure of faith. Wow. If you have no faith for a jet, you can't give anyone a jet. Mm. So you wait. You wait and mm. you see, ah, uh -uh, that jet, sir, that mm. jet you just got, gotten, I realize it's not a real jet. It's the speed you're about to take off with. Mm. Uh, what? But you'd already given him a real jet. <laughs> so you need to keep on looking. <laughs> keep on looking. Keep on looking until the time is finishes. So when you get the prophetic, if you're a prophetic student, take your time. Get in. Come out. Mm. Get in. Stay in. Look everywhere. Try to figure out what is taking place. Mm. All right. Jesus. Don't rush to give the prophecy. I have my, my son. My son in, in Canada is doing wonderful. 
he's doing prophecies now and names are coming out and and one day he sent me a message dad i'm happy things are moving and he sent me videos i said well son before i said i love it i said slow down he said what i think he was just like well, dead you know mm. comment on this one now like you know slow down mm. why because with the prophets you can get too excited and get in too much Mm. And when you get in too much, it's like deja vu. You know, deja vu is an opening. Oh. It's an <laughs> opening in a spiritual portal mm. that if you get in, you need to have that deja vu as well while you're on this side to come out to this world. <laughs> you can disappear and enter there. The moment you see that deja vu thing, mm. it's a parallel kind of world in the spirit mm. that you go like. I, I, I saw this kid before. Mm. This phone was like here before. What happened? You speak in tongues immediately. You are drawn into that capacity. Mm. And when you're drawn into that capacity, you can enter a realm. But when you enter that realm, you need to, for you to stay there. Mm. You don't need anything because you've already entered. But you now need to come out. Mm. They will find you sitting in your sofa like this, not knowing who your wife is or your children are. They say we are begging, we go like, They say, yeah, too much, too much prayer <laughs> has caused them to be mad. No, there is a place he got into mm -hmm. where his capacity could not handle. Mm. Capacity is handled by character. Mm. As a prophet, there is a character of a prophet mm. that can be allowed in a capacity. Mm. You see, what makes men rich mm. is capacity and character. Capacity will get you the ability of the money. Mm. Character will keep the capacity mm. maintain. to maintain the flow. Mm. Mm. Now you get into a realm by chance which your character cannot maintain. Mm. So you need to learn these things. So he understood it immediately. He said, so what do I do? I said, just do one, two prophecies, and that's it. Next week, maybe you do one and forget it. As you keep on moving, you realize, hey, I'm now in this capacity now. I'm now in this capacity. I'm getting it correctly. Because you see, more means more mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 